GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zila, and we're here today doing the Alpha 10.5 Advanced Start on the Temperate Planet. Uh, it's just a vanilla um, survival random start, and we have made ourselves up to space in my little CV and I went and dumped off all the stuff I mined from the um, POI over there, the purple alien, uh, what was it again? It was called a, a remnant, a world remnant or a remnant, something like that, planet remnant. <laughs> and uh, it had a, t whoa, camera, come back. It had a ton of mats, lots of deposits on it that I, and I'll show you when we get home. But right now, I, I, I went and dropped it off because it was getting too heavy, and I knew if I added any more weight, if I came and continued to do what I wanted to do, it, it'd be too heavy to fly and land and and travel because it was already, um, it was up to like over a thousand tons that that was in it, so. And it was really sluggish getting home. I barely, I could barely get it to fly. So when I got it into the atmosphere. Well, what I did is I grabbed some of the stuff that we looted. The auto miner cores, sniper rifle, and that's really about it. And then the rest of the extra stuff here, I'm going to try and sell too. So uh, what we're going to do, although I'm not going to sell the drill. I kind of need that. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into the trading station and try and sell the stuff and get some money and I don't know. I wouldn't mind buying whatever Neo they've got. Because I think that's really what I'm suffering for right now is Neodymium. I mean we got, I ended up with like a whole stack of Arrestrium, multi stacks of Cobalt because of the, the, uh, where is it? It's right over there. That one right there. Sorry, the camera's freaking out because I'm so close to the trading station. But that asteroid right there was the cobalt asteroid that I mined out. And so I have about four stacks of freaking cobalt from that. And yeah, so the, it was getting pretty heavy. Okay, so let's um, smash into the trading station. And... Uh, we could just, I guess, leave the stuff in there. Here, let's turn the thrusters off at least. Save a little power. Okay, I've got my suit on. Let's turn our... Wait, what? Okay. Oh, okay, the icon's not coming on. That's a bit of an interface glitch. Uh, okay. Well, my jetpack is on. It's just showing that it's not. <laughs> okay. I'll turn it off now. Because there's gravity. Okay. So let's get inside here. And... Oh, i got to turn it back on. How do I get up in here? Oh, yeah. Over here. This is it. Oh, you know what? I could actually repair the drill if I want. Now nah, it's only halfway. I I think it's fine. We've got the other drill. I can repair them later if they uh, need it. But I'm hoping not to have to mine that much by hand anymore. <laughs> okay, let's just keep going up, I think, right? Yeah, keep going up. Okay, turn the jetpack off. There we go. I'm banging around on the walls here. Okay, here, let's get into a uh, first-person view. It's just easier to see stuff. Put that crap out of my hands. Here, let's go cash in. Uh, don't have it on us, right? Let's grab it. You know what? Let's just grab all this crap since it's there. All right. And we've got a little bit of cash, 5,300, but
But what we need to do is, here we could actually, uh, let's buy a burger really quick here. Thank you, buddy. And <laughs> how convenient. Um, okay, we don't need gardening supplies. Where's, oh, there's a conference room over here. And right, let's go check out what he'll buy from us and then what we can buy from him. Uh, okay, so he has the, yeah, he'll buy the pistol. Assault rifle T2, does he sell assault rifle T2s? Pulse rifle, yeah, I don't think he did. It's like the only freaking thing he doesn't buy of the T2s is the assault rifle. Really? Okay, whatever. Um, now that I have two of them, of course he won't buy them. Sniper? Does he buy just a regular sniper? T2. No, he just buys the nice big stuff. Okay. That's fine. Oh, I should just buy the magnesium powder from him. Uh, it's not a bad idea, actually. Although, ooh, multi-boost. 6830. Okay, we'll come back. We can buy heavy armor from him, too. It's got to be someone else. Let's check upstairs. And over there is just medical. Okay, I think this guy will buy the medium armor. Yeah. And... Neo. He's got Neo. There we go. So we'll... 71. Buy all that. Nice. It's 28. That's about the same price, isn't it? Oh, he's got refined pentaxid. Ooh, it's expensive. Uh, I ended up mining a stack and a half of it. I should, let's just use what I've got. I don't have any of this. So I, you know what? I, I think I should buy it. I think it was the same price downstairs. So let's just buy it. We can afford to now, right? Uh, auto miner cores. He will buy three of them. So let's do that. Good. We're getting a good sum. Uh, okay. So we bought all the Neo. We bought all the magnesium. We don't need any of the basics. Uh, that's about the only thing I'd want to buy from them at this point, but it's really expensive. Let's move on. Uh, the gardening guy, I don't think is going to have anything that we want. And we can't pick any of his vegetables. Really? You suck. grow plots. Ah, don't need any of his stuff now. I've got all the the sprouts I need to make what I want. Okay, well, I'm not sure if there was something, another vendor upstairs. Sky buys gar. Sky guys bar. Sky <laughs> buys gar. What the hell was I saying? Uh, okay. Um, there we go. Can I open this? Oh, uh, change my rep. No, thanks. Uh, oh, here we go. He'll buy the night vision. Eight. Oh, was it cheaper downstairs? I think it was. I'll buy the chainsaw. Uh, that looks like about it. That's fine. That's fine. It's not bad. Let's go get the magnesium from the guy downstairs then. Uh, 
Okay. What's this guy over here, right? And then what was his multi-boost? Hey, come on, buddy. Uh, what was your multi-boost? 30,000? You buy it for 20... Oh. Oh, that's mobility boost. That's why. Derp. Oh, much cheaper. Same price to buy it for if, if he... If I sold it to him. Okay, so that's not going to be a profit. But what I can do is buy... Buy a couple of those. If I buy three of them, that pretty much optimizes, like, medium armor. <laughs> um, if I buy four and put it in my heavy armor... That's not bad for just like clanking around in two heavy armor with four multi boosts. It's not too bad. Uh, should I buy that fourth one? Get the magnesium powder, 60. And I'm going to find another one eventually. I got to. Yeah, let's just... Let's just live with the three I bought. Because I'm going to have to wear an EVA out in space anyway, so... If I'm just doing crafting or whatever, I'll put on some medium armor. I think I, I, think I saved some. We'll find more. <laughs> Not a big deal. Um, okay, well, I think we're done with the trading, so let's just head... If we go down here. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Let's get some medical supplies. Buy everything we can from him in the way of... And I want to sell this crap. So we're going to... Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Uh, that was actually pretty good money for selling all that crap. That's not bad. And then, so what we're going to buy now is, you know, we'll just buy everything they've got here. Okay, and there we go. See, I'd rather have the ones that heal you. Thank you very much. Okay, we're getting some good uh, healing resources now. That's not bad. Excellent. And then we've got a little bit of Neo, some magnesium. Uh, the reason why I was selling the auto minor cores is because I'm, I'm not going to be making any, any because... I've got auto miners set to uh, depletion and I can mine it out in like minutes flat anyway. So it's just a waste of time going and setting up auto miners and then going and picking them up again. <laughs> it's, it's less time just to mine it out while you're there. <sighs> but I mean, that's my opinion. And if I had it set to not deplete, well then, yeah, then it makes sense. Then you throw up auto miners and and get three free uh, material. Okay, so yeah, my jetpack icon still isn't coming on. That's not cool. Let's ship over here. Okay, well, I guess we'll go check out the small vessel now. Okay, and that was just like down over there. And then 
sweet. We've got some CVs, some destroyed capital vessels that, uh... oh, look at all the thrusters on them and everything, right? Wow. Holy crap. Oh yeah, that's one of the ones, the one of the crashed uh, capital vessels that you can find on planets too. That one's loaded though. Look at this one. Holy crap, just tons of uh, thrusters on it. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, oh, look at this long one here. So I remember this one. It's usually like buried so deep you can barely get. Oh, oh we found something. What did we find? Destroy, uh, oh, what the heck is this? Oh, it's in the... Uh, well, we ain't going to get much off that. We might be able to get something off a little bit, but there's one th couple thrusters showing. But <laughs> yeah, because I don't think we can actually uh, dig uh, non-deposit asteroids. Okay. Well... Look at all the loot on this one, too. Look at all the thrusters and guns and holy crap. And is that another one just like that one? No. Was it? Hang on. Okay, so there's that one there. And then... Maybe... Oh! Okay. Okay. There's two identical ones. Wow. With all those thrusters. There's two identical ones? Really? Okay, so... Okay, it's that one there. Whatever you want to call that one. And then there's... Yeah, it sure looks identical to me. Yep. Yeah, it's the same ship. Sweet. Okay. So we've got like three stacked CVs for us to loot. Okay. Let's go check out the, we got to investigate. What do we got to investigate? Sorry. I wasn't um, paying attention there. Let's, I'm so excited about seeing those CVs. So we want to, what do we want to investigate? Oops. Investigate. The signal from the CV, from the SV is strange as well. There are charges set to detonate if get closer. We need to find the control station for the minefield and charges first. Okay. So. Hmm. Where was that little thing? Now it's not showing us where it was. I gotta. I want to find that. Oh, there it is. Whoa! <laughs> Holy crap! That scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I got a little too close to a minefield. <laughs> oh yeah, there's the adrenaline. There's the adrenaline. Yeah. Woo! Okay. Um, okay, wow, that was, <laughs> scared the crap out of myself. Uh, look at all the thrusters on this little sucker, too. Oh, I remember this. I've actually looted. I took, I actually, you know what? I think this is actually flyable as it is. You just got to throw in, um, I think you just got to, like, put in, fuel and it'll fly i don't think it has many rcs and it's missing thrusters in certain directions to make it real sluggish but it will fly and it does have thrusters in every direction just not enough for certain directions yeah look at it's just stacked with stuff i think what i want to do is oh yeah see that it's got weapons in it too that's right, too. That's right, too. It had, like, um, oh, what did it have? It had, like, rocket launchers and, like, plasma 
freaking cannons or something like that oh sweet this is going to be just so awesome okay so we want to investigate so let's do that and we're going to blow up more of these and this time i'm not going to i'm not going to jump out of my freaking skin right and let's just get real close okay so let's blow up these two here Come on. Oh, okay, it's still it's still scared me. <laughs> oh, I'm so pathetic. Okay. Okay. It still scared me a little bit, but not as bad that <laughs> time. It's just I know it's coming and I jump anyway, and that's ridiculous. Uh, looks like we get in through here. Okay. Well, we've got these new um, thingies on us. So let's, I think we need to uh, armor up here. I'm feeling a little freaked out. Let's, let's do that. Let's do that. There, let's dump this stuff back off then. If, yeah, I emptied everything. That's right too here. We can just dump it into here for now. Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to dump it into this one. Because that'll be our loot. Oh, no, that's mine. I need those. Loot. I'll just dump that in there for now. Okay. Let's get that equipped. So we'll take the EVA out of this. We're going to put the heavy armor on. Put the EVA on that. And then the three multis. And that should reduce my food consumption almost to flat. There we go. There we go. Nice. Okay, plus it gave us almost 900 oxygen to screw around with. Open door. Oh, that's... Am I the right way around? Oh, this has gravity. Sweet. Okay, let's get in a little bit and we'll just turn off our jetpack. Is my icon coming on yet? No. <sighs> Okay, switch one. Switch one. Is that switch one? No. Switch one. We gotta throw switch one. There's the core. I don't wanna necessarily blow up the core, right? Um switch one. Come on, let me up. Come on, let me up. Is that it there? Lever one, there we go. Oh, I didn't even press it yet. <laughs> there must be a sensor. <sighs> Freaking thing blowing stuff up around me. Okay, so what does that say? Engaged. A minefield status engaged. Oh, great. That's what the switch does. So now... Okay, there's a... There's loot right here. It, oh, are you kidding me? Do you see what it says? Warning. We'll change your reputation to unfriendly with Polaris. Oh, come on. You loot tease. Oh, that turned on and went all glitchy. Go to the hidden room. There's a hidden room I just revealed? Really? Really? Oh, right there. Okay. Activate lever. Go to teleporter. Wow, we're turning on all the LCDs. Writing this to the LCD. Writing this to that LCD. <laughs> Polaris Exploration Crew Commander. Okay, whatever. This is a warring. 
Marker blah 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 for mining, polio prospects are uh, reported. Specimen canine spread escape for their specimen infestation. Oh, great. That's obviously an alien infestation. And that'll make us unfriendly. Oh, come on! <laughs> that too. <laughs> Whatever. A teleporter. Fine. Use the teleporter. Oh, really? I don't, mm, that's fine. I'm pretty sure I can just teleport back right away. As long as they didn't... Yep, I can just teleport back right away. Okay, good. So this is the a derelict ship. Let's mark this. Let's mark this. This is the derelict ship, right? I don't even know how to spell derelict. Derelict. Dare derelict. <laughs> der, derelict. 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 Isn't it an A? Derelict. Derelict ship. Derelict. Is that how you spell derelict? Okay. It just looks weird. I don't know. I think I'm wrong. That doesn't right look right. Derelict. Maybe. It looks weird. Anyway. Uh, derelict. A silly word. I don't know. And then we're gonna. We don't need to show it on HUD. We're gonna do it as a. We'll do it as a target, I guess. Okay. So. I don't want to go do this right now. I, yes, I have armor on, but I don't really, I'm not equipped to do it. I don't have tons of ammo and ready to go with tons of healing. I mean, I got decent healing, but eh, no thanks. Do they put an armor locker in here for, for you to like swap out your gear with? I don't even know if they do that. So anyway, I think I'm going to head back and, oh, we can access this at least. <laughs> Right, because it's alien. Okay. Well, that's cool. And we're back. Okay. So, yeah, I'm not going to continue on with that now. I just wanted to get the uh, POI locations down. So, there we go. And since I can't loot anything without nuking my faction with the Polaris, I'm not going to loot anything right now. I still want to stay for, oh, cook myself with my own thrusters. Yeah, that's always smart. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Get in there. Thank you. Okay. Um... What am I doing? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap out the PDA. Oh, you know what? We can... Really? It'll let us just do all this? Really? Uh, I don't really want to. Meh. Yeah. No. Nah. Yeah, I'm not going to cheese out and... Oh, they don't tell you if they give you anything, eh? I don't think I've ever finished this one, Chapter 2. Hmm. Still got to do a bunch of these, actually. I haven't done really any of the Xerox ones. Yeah. Anyway, so I think what we'll do is we'll just... Um, We'll just activate ones as we need to then. So I can just leave this one active as it is. Doesn't really matter. Uh, for now, I guess what I want to do is... Well, 
But what I want to do is kind of is kind of just like multi-tool this thing down to nothing. Yeah. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to multi-tool that these things down to nothing. So I'll just let's just do a little bit here. I'm going to do it from inside my ship. Just got to try and get the drone to spawn. There we go. So I know this thing has a player core in it already somewhere. And all we got to do is just... Um, yeah, there it is right there. So all we got to do is... It's already set to public. We can set it to private. And it's ours. Crazy, eh? It has like multiple thrusters in every direction. Has oh yeah, it's got a couple RCS. It's got a bunch of generators, fuel tanks, so it'll run. I think it's got a cockpit too. Yep. Wow. Um, so I could just like attach this to the. CV and just fly it home. Oh, look at that warp tank. This thing has it is fully loaded. Holy crap! For a busted up ship, it's got a lot. Well, uh, I guess I got my work cut out for me. I'm gonna make sure that I'm connected to my big giant cargo box. So let's go into the container controller and we're gonna connect to that. I'll just move stuff over to there for now. That's fine. And then we will take the fuel. So let's... There's nothing in it. No, to, it's got a Pentaxid tank. Really? Huh. Sweet. Okay. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. In fact, I'll take it now. If I can find it. Well, we'll make our the warp tank the first thing that we take. Yay! And then I want to see what these weapons are. So where's the front of it here? So there's a couple here. What do we got here? We've got rocket launcher. Take that, and what was that? Another rocket launcher, okay. Oh, plasma cannon, and a pulse laser, nice. And another rocket launcher, okay. Oh, we got stuff up here too. A rail gun, holy crap. Okay. Uh, I wonder if it has anything below then. No, it doesn't look like it. Huh. Cool. Okay. Well, let's grab everything else then. Let's just go crazy. So, I'm going to nuke this thing down. And then what I'm going to do is, because I, I didn't bring any cores with me, but when I... When I pop this thing's core, I'll get a little bit of mats. Um, what I'll have to do is I'll have to zap a couple of blocks off some some electronics or something off the uh, one of the CVs to get. Oh, be careful not to zap my own ship, um, so that I can get enough mats to build a core. Because you know, as a doofus, I did not bring a core with me. I don't know why I didn't. I mean, you should always carry a core with you. Once you're capable of just building cores whenever you want, carry one with you. <laughs> but that's for some reason I didn't today. Even though I knew I was probably going to need one. Well, that's what happens when you derp out. That's what happens when you derp out. Okay, I'm going to cut the video here, and then um, I'm going to go around and actually these LCD screens I'm going to salvage. 
and get electronics out of them for. Same with that fridge here. Let's salvage some of this stuff right now so that we can potentially um, I could probably salvage some of the thrusters and stuff too, right? Yeah, see, we got computers for that. Nice. Okay. Although I kind of want to keep the thrusters, although, although what are they? Are they mediums? Ah, they're mediums. I don't really want them that much then. Well, that should be enough to make a core. Let's take a look. Okay. So, yep, I can make a core. Why is that? Computer 5, is that going to make it? How is that going to make it? Whatever. It's going to make it. So I don't care. What am I griping about? There we go. Okay, so I know I got a core for the next CB, and that's good. Um, so at this point, let's retrieve blocks again, and we'll keep going. Okay, so I will come grab you when I've got everything that I can from these ships. And then we're going to try and take it all home. <sighs> That's going to be a challenge. Because at, um, at 1.43 kilotons, I, was, I could not sustain my altitude. I ended up falling to the planet. Uh, but while I was falling, I put stuff into my uh, extended bar to make it so that it didn't count for, my, for the weight, for the mass. And then I was able to level off and fly to the base. But, uh, yeah, I I don't want it too, too heavy, right? Or else, and, and I only have so many slots to put items in the bar, right? Like, how many is there? Nine, right? So, you know, I can only have nine stacks of things that go into the bar. That's cool. That's cool. Look at all this gear. It's just so good. I'm going to be able to make a hardened steel blocks too. I'm going to be able to make a really good SV. Oh, I didn't want the throw. You know what? We're going to build a uh, deconstructor. We're going to build a deconstructor. So I'm not too worried about it here. We'll get more for using the deconstructor than we will using uh, salvage from the multi-tool. So the deconstructor is like 80%, I think, efficient, and the salvage of your own is only like 60%, and then of non cord, I think, is only 30%. So, I think the I think that's what those numbers. I think the numbers are right. At least that's what I remember. Um, so basically, you're better off taking the entire block and throwing them in a deconstructor because you'll get the most gain out of it if you want to have the parts back instead of the actual block. If you're just throwing them in the factory, in the blue pit factory, take the entire block. There's there's no point in not. <laughs> there's no gain in, in only salvaging. That doesn't make any sense. Um, Unless, of course, you set it to public, like, so, like, if, for example, I'll show you here, we'll set this to public. And now when I take blocks, I just get the steel plates, or, like, I get the components because it salvages them, but I get experience, see that? I think I was pretty close to raising... Oh, you know what? No, I, I got it by... I just rose a level, didn't I? I think. Yeah, I'm not even close then. I do want to hit 17, though, because then we'll be able to... Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's take the entire block, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw everything into the uh, blueprint factory and, and get the fin fighter in, because now we'll have all the mats we need. 
this thing has rail guns and stuff so yeah it'll hit and the arrest room zascosium that we just mined up uh yeah i think we'll have plenty of mats to bring it in it's an expensive ship but i think it'll be fine and i keep nuking stuff i can't help but it. it's xp yeah we'll just set it back to uh private but yeah that's how you can get xp early in a game uh, it's just nu nuke down a POI that's like that you don't really want the entire blocks for. You just want parts, and it's perfect because it'll give you XP too. So now I'll just take the entire thing because I'll be throwing all the stuff in the blueprint factory. I was just taking the parts uh, in public mode just to show you that you get XP. But I'll continue to take the entire block now in in private. There we go. Okay, I'll come grab you when I've grabbed everything from all the ships. And then we'll see if we can actually land <laughs> on the back on the planet. <laughs> okay, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I just realized this is a folly uh, trying to get all this done <laughs> One episode because I've just now I think I barely got the good stuff off this one capital vessel here that I'm at that I put a core in and uh, I am sitting at 1.47 kilotons of stuff so this is the small vessel and one of the crash or destroyed capital vessels out here in space all all this stuff weighs just a ton so what i got to do now is decide either just go keep just going and and have stacks of thrusters that i can't deal with and crash to the planet or do I start off by cleaning up this a bit? Like, I, like I guess I what I should do is start thinking about bringing in. Um, I mean, I'm what am I now? I am 16th. I'm on my way to 17th. So that's not like that far off anymore. So I think this is a realistic goal here. Let's start working on the SV now. We want to get. I want to get my fin fighter in. It's my most advanced fighter that I've made. It's it's up to date for Alpha 10. It's got shields. It's got plasma cannons. It's got um, lots of thrust, and it's fast. So yeah, I mean it's all armored up. It, it's a, it's kind of a it's not the ugly ugliest, but it's also kind of ugly. <laughs> <laughs> it did it did have an ugly stick hit it but just lightly um okay so what we're gonna do then is we're gonna send this to the factory and we're going to grab all of the stuff out of here we're gonna just pop it because you can't just like select factory from here i i'd really i'd really like it instead of them forcing us to drag stuff either into our backpack or the bottom bar here. I, I would like an interface directly into the blueprint factory from a container. Can we do that? I would like that. I don't know. Does that seem stupid? We can do that with the fuel, right? Why can't we make that? Pop over to this side like that and have whatever container we want. So if we went like this, we could have this move over here a little bit i guess you know and then have this as a proper container that we can drop down and select like is that too much to ask for right now i guess it is too much i, I don't know I, I i would rather i would rather actually enjoy that if they made that an interface because it'd be just like a quick like oh here uh all this stuff in here dump one shot <laughs> in in like come on right this just seems so tedious dragging stuff in 
Yet here I am about to do it. Because this is the only option I have. And it seems a little silly, but Come on. Like, this is just... Like, really? This is going to take forever. I, I, uh, and then you got to flip... See? And now... And now, this bug, where it doesn't allow me to press it. So now I have to, like, get out of here. Go into here or something. Select that. And see, it still won't let me now. Oh, my God. Okay. I know what that bug is. This is the bug that you have to disconnect and reconnect your freaking bar for it to actually be usable. <sighs> it's okay. It's okay. It's an alpha. It's an alpha. There's bugs, okay? It's just the way it is. Uh, let's get this stuff in here. All this SV crap that we can't use on the CVs. Okay, so let's see what this amount of stuff will get us. Uh, this is what we need. This should give us some here. Not bad. We're not going to get anything but cobalt. A little bit of cobalt out of that. This should give us some more restrooms. Ascosium, yep. Same with this. Yep, okay, halfway there. That's not bad. We got halfway what we needed. I'm not too worried about the Neo and Sathium. That's going to be quite easy. The Sathium, all those blocks. So, like, wow. I'm sure this will be too many, maybe. But, uh, grab all this stuff. It's useless on anything else that unless see this oh wait this is hv also but this is just sv oh this is hv also i didn't realize there were a couple of engine parts that were combined sv hv the pataxid okay yeah i guess they didn't really need to change that for both okay and then i know the the generators were the same and the fuel tanks yeah but I still want to get rid of them. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, let's just keep throwing this crap in there. Okay, so let's do the stuff first before it won't let us for some reason if we put all the freaking big blocks in. Well, that's not bad, but wow, we need a lot there. And a lot there. We'll try half. Yeah, might as well throw it all in. Yep. <laughs> yep, not enough. That's okay. Real close there, though. Good. We, uh, wow, we dropped it down to 13 minutes. Holy crap. Wow. That was extreme. That was an extreme drop in time with all those blocks. Okay, well, let's keep, uh, adding Got that to add that's cv i don't want to throw the cv stuff in i think we can reuse that uh these are parts i want to keep the parts because i need to make another core ramps that's door Landing gear, light, and that's good for all three, but and the rest is all parts, right? LCD is good for all armored windows. There we go. Okay. So, and that, that would be nice, because then we could just go like, you know, all in one shot. All in one shot. We would have been done already moving on to a different task if the interface was better. This is kludgy as hell. <laughs> okay, um, six minutes, wow. 
getting there. We're we're not going to get the numbers with the arrest rims as goes even until we smelt down some of the. We might get close. We'll we'll have the arrest rim for sure because we took that full stack down. But the Zass, uh, I don't think we got it. I don't think we got it, but that's okay. That's okay. Hopefully we can uh, find some on the uh, CV. I don't think so, but... <laughs> so, at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this an episode. Um, and then next episode, I'm going to have... I think what we're going to do is we're going to mod out this and add a couple of thrusters downward and, and forward just so that just in case we can we might be able to actually take all the gear down with us uh, that would be kind of cool so if we add a couple of the medium thrusters we might be able to do that with the downward thrust we might be able to uh, so I think that's what we're going to do so next episode uh, we'll be modding, these, uh, modding this CV out slightly and trying to bring all the stuff home. So until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.